So you're trying to make the jump from Maya to Blender. Not a problem. So I actually believe that Blender is probably going to overtake Maya if it keeps improving at the rate it is. And for those of you who are also thinking about moving your workflow from Maya to Blender, today's video is going to show you how to do it, assuming that your character skeleton is the exact same as the default Unreal 5 skeleton. But I do plan to do another video showing you how to do this if your character has different proportions to the Unreal 5 skeleton. So hang tight on that, but for today, assuming your character lines up. Anytime you are working in Blender and you want to make it Unreal 5 compatible, you will want to use the Rigify rig provided by Cly. I will leave a link to his base rig in the description, but he's basically already set up everything for you so you can easily attach your Rigify rig to the character, which by default will make it automatically compatible with Unreal 5 so you don't get those dreaded errors every time you export it. Now the way he has set it up is there's a base skeleton file that just contains the character and the bones. Then there's another file that contains the actual Rigify rig. And anytime you want to make a new animation, those animations just reference the rig. This is just a great way to keep everything organized. So we have a skeleton, a rig, and then the animations from the rigs. So what we need to do is replace the default Manny character in the skeleton and rig files with our own. Once we do that, all of the animation files should be automatically updated with our custom character. So, to do this, first we export the character out of Maya by selecting all the parts, then the skeleton, and then exporting it as an FBX. Then, in Cly's file under Skeleton Mesh, pick the rig appropriate for you. We are using Manny because I have a male character. Copy the SKM Manny file and name it whatever your character is. Open it and import your Maya character. And on the right, make sure you set primary and secondary access to X and negative Y. You have to to get this right, otherwise your rig will die. Murdered in front of you, I am not exaggerating. Do not mess this up. X and negative Y. Cool, now grab all the meshes for your character, drag them into the base mesh, and then for every weight painted mesh on your character under the modifiers, set the object to root. Once you do that, we're gonna check things by clicking on the root and going into viewport display and check in front to see the skeleton. And then we go to pose mode and rotate. We can see that the weight painting has survived. Great. Now click on any object that might be parented, like the weapons. And under the details, make sure the parent is set to root. After we do all that, we can delete the duplicate root, and now for good measure, I just recommend going through the details of each mesh and setting the parent to root as well. Once you have checked to make sure that all the meshes have their parent and modifiers set to root, save the file. Then go to the control rig. Then on the top right, change it to Blender File. And on the bottom right, click the rig that you're using, right click, and hit Relocate. And set it to the custom character skeleton you just created. Pow! Now Manny has been replaced with your character. From here, feel free to hide the skeleton and go to pose mode and just test if it works. This is just a traditional Rigify setup, so most of you should be familiar with it. Once you've checked everything looks good, just hit the save file, and now if we check out the animation files, you will see that all of the animations have had the character replaced with our custom one. Awesome! Now we can finally get this character to Unreal. To do that, in Cly's file under Skeleton Mesh, select all the meshes for your character and hit Ctrl A and apply all transformations. Then click the skeleton, select all the meshes for your character, and under File, Export, FBX, hit Selected Objects. We only need the armature and the mesh. Set Normals to Face. If you have modifiers, you can apply them. Otherwise, if you don't, you can turn this off. And remember, access to X and negative Y. Only deform bones. Take off the leaf bones. We don't need any animation. Export. And then in Unreal, just import, grab your character, and set it to the default Unreal 5 skeleton. You're done. And check it out, no errors. And our character is perfectly compatible with the entire Unreal 5 suite, so we have access to literally every Unreal 5 animation from Epic now. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.